Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I am doing the affordable version and the drugstore version of the makeup starter kit. Now this video hopefully will be really helpful for anyone who's just getting into makeup. Perhaps you have a teenage daughter or you're kind of just not sure what you actually need um, in terms of the immediate sense of your makeup bag. So I'm gonna go through what I think is a really good edit for starting out with all the essentials you need to do beautiful makeup. The first one is a primer, and for primer, I've actually gone for the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Um, e.l.f. as well is a great brand for the fact that they do lots of different primers, so there really is something for every skincare need, and with an affordable price tag. So for me, I went for the Hydrating Face Primer. Um, it looks like it's a kind of blue color in the bottle, but don't worry, it comes out clear. And this really reminds me of the Hourglass, the Veil Mineral Primer. It feels very, very similar in texture. However, this one does have silicone in but I think if you want to kind of fill in pores etc this is a really good one to go for. For foundation I've gone for and I don't think this will be a surprise to anyone who watches my channel regularly I've gone for the wet and wild photo focus foundation. Um, I wear the shade buff bisque I am wearing it today I love the finish of this foundation it's incredibly buildable it works well with any primer or even if you just want to use moisturizer under your skin it's great. Um, the bottle is kind of similar how to um, how you get the NARS Sheer Glow in that it just has um, an applicator that you kind of, I pop it on the back of my hand, then use a brush with it. And I feel like what's great about this as well is it's got no SPF in, so there's no kind of flashback, and it's actually formulated for taking, um, it has great photo finish, so it's great with photos, great for special occasions, but it's also a beautiful daytime foundation, and one that I really recommend to clients. Um, such an affordable price tag. If you are in the UK, you can get this delivered to you. Um, however, if you want something more easily available, I really recommend the Bourjois Healthy Mix. Both these foundations make great starter kit uh, foundations. And the Wet n Wild I chose over Bourjois just because it has a really good choice of colors. So really good shade range. So next up is concealer and I've gone for the L'Oreal True Match. Now this was a tough one. I feel like there's actually quite a lot of good drugstore concealers on the market. But again, the True Match, as the name would suggest, means for most people you'll be able to find a uh, concealer that works for your skin tone. And I like the L'Oreal formula. I like that it has the little brush applicator. I think it's really nice to work with. Um, and I just find this blends like a high-end concealer. So it's a really good one to have in your makeup starter kit. For powder, I've gone for one that I've been using for years and years, and I just think it really is like an ultimate drugstore favorite and the perfect powder for a drugstore makeup starter kit. It is the L'Oreal True Match in Translucent. I love this because it's incredibly finely milled. Literally, even when you take a brush to it, there's not masses of kind of fallout or movement in the product. It's very, very finely milled, very beautiful on the skin. And I think if you're going for a starter makeup kit, go for a translucent shade or an invisible shade in that if you get warmer in summer or you go cooler in winter, it won't affect. You can just have one powder that will work no matter how deep or cool your skin tone is at any particular time. So bronzer wise, again, there are lots of great bronzers on the high street. Um, and for me, I've gone for Physicians Formula. Um, I wear the Healthy Glow Bronzer and this is the one I am wearing today. I absolutely love this. It has a slight little pink iridescence in it. It's generally matte in texture and again, is a really good dupe for the Guerlain bronzers. Very similar to their uh, bronze for brunettes, bronze for bronze for blondes palette. So really, really love those. Um, very smooth, not chalky, it has a nice buttery consistency, blends really well. And I also find this quite foolproof in that you can kind of really build it gently. It doesn't kind of go on crazy thick at first and too much too soon. You can build it and you can really build it to a gradual tan that feels realistic. So next up is highlighter, and for me, I've gone back to Wet n Wild again. This one is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It does come in different shades. So this is the one that I'm actually wearing now. You can see it gives a really beautiful glow, very similar to the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed version. Um, this one I really like because it has a very, very creamy consistency, and especially if you're starting out in makeup and you don't have many brushes, I think this is really good in that you can even use your finger. And I literally did my highlight today with my finger. I just dabbed a little bit on, and just blended it. And because of that creamy consistency, it really goes far. It's great also as an inner um, eye highlight, beautiful for doubling up in that way. You can use a little bit on the Cupid's bow. This is also lovely on shoulders and decollete. So one product like this will go really far in a starter makeup bag. So for blush, I've gone for the Milani Baked Blush. I know this is quite a YouTube favorite. Again, I'm wearing this one as well today. I've tried to wear as many of the products as possible so you can see them in action. This is the Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. 
um, and this is just the most beautiful peachy coral tone and I find this is so complimentary especially when you have a tan it's so so pretty but it's also kind of strong enough in pigment that it works great on dark skin tones and you could just use the slightest dusting if you have a paler skin tone and if you didn't want to get the highlighter you could always just get this as I feel it has kind of like a slight sheen in it which is really beautiful and it almost doubles up as a blusher with a little bit of highlight in it. So moving on to eyes and for eye creams, I think look no further than H&M. I think H&M Beauty does beautiful products. Um, I'm currently wearing Earth Angel Color Essence Eye Cream. This is such a beautiful color. It's like a moussey cream shadow that turns to powder. You can really, really layer these. They don't crease, they're super blendable. You could apply them with your fingers if you wanted to, or you can use a brush for a little bit more uh, precision. They are so good at layering. I also like mixing the colors as well. So using maybe a brown first, and then you could add in powder shadow on top or more cream shadows just a really really good product that performs like a high end and I think going for a shade like I'm wearing so this is earth angel like a nice earthy brown is a great color to have in your starter makeup kit because you can use this to contour the eye use it to shade it's a really good all-rounder so for eyeshadows, I don't actually have the exact eyeshadows with me because my kit is actually on a shoot at the minute and the eyeshadows I'm going to mention are actually in my pro kit. Um, the eyeshadows that I would choose as, I was trying to think about like one palette or one of my favourite drugstore palettes and I think for me, if I'm going for like the best that you could have in a starter kit and be able to choose the colours you wanted, I actually think for me Colourpop is where I would go for eyeshadows in that you can get every texture, the mattes are great, the shimmers are great, they are so long wearing, they perform literally like a MAC eyeshadow or a high end eyeshadow. I feel like with Colourpop if you find a colour that you love in the high end kind of luxury market you could probably find it in Colourpop as they have so much variety. You can buy the shadows in singles or you can kind of get a palette and choose your own colors but they are so affordable and so for me that is my ultimate eyeshadow recommendation for a starter makeup bag so for pencils i'm going back to rimmel again i'm choosing scandalize this formula is such a great coal i feel like it works very similar to the charlotte tilbury rock and coal pencils and that you get a little bit of time to play so you can kind of smudge it in if you want a smudgy smoky look or once it sets you can leave it there and kind of get it quite sharp with a pencil sharpener and actually do a flick with it and once it sets it doesn't move this is a waterproof formula super affordable and I've now found that they do this in 003 brown I love the nude one as well they do an amazing nude coal they do a black amazing I just think these are such high quality pencils and for a starter kit I would recommend getting the black shade the nude shade and the brown if you can get your hands on them so for brows, I've gone to NYX, and I've gone in particular for the Micro Brow Pencil. It has a little spoolie on the end, and I find the nib on this is very, very similar to Anastasia uh, Brow Wiz. Very, very similar, if not pretty much identical packaging um, with different text on. And the NYX Micro Pencil also comes in, I think, seven shades. I'll correct that on the screen if there's more or less. So maybe you're a redhead or you have uh, grey hair and you want to get something that really works with your skin tone and your hair colour, NYX will definitely have something in the micro brow range, micro brow pencil, really really love that and I often end up using that in my pro kit as well. So when it comes to liquid liner, I am going to mention, again as I always do, my beloved Kiko liner, this one is the Kiko Makeup Milano Super Colour Eyeliner. I wear it in 102, but if you want a blue liner, a black eyeliner, a gold eyeliner, they literally have every colour at Kiko. And this performs just as well as some of my Tom Ford eyeliners, some of my really high end. It performs better than some of my other high end brands that I've tried. So I absolutely love this eyeliner. Um, it has, the brush is kind of like, it's not really a felt tip and it's not a brush, it's somewhere in the middle. It's like a foamy sort of feel to it, but I find it doesn't kind of take the product back off. It works very, very well and performs, like I said, very long lasting, waterproof, will last you all day. So that's a great one to have if you want a liquid liner in your starter makeup kit. Okay, so it's getting hotter. I've got still quite a bit to get through. Um, I have got a fan that I've ordered, so that is on its way, and hopefully then there's not gonna be so much glow going on, but we're gonna work with it. 
Um, so the next product I wanted to mention is mascara. Again, I don't think anyone who watches this channel will, this will come as a surprise, um, but I've chosen Bourjois Volume Reveal. I think this is a great drugstore mascara. And dare I say, the only drugstore mascara I find actually works for me. If you have panda eyes, I definitely feel like this formula is amazing. There's no spill down, no kind of falling under the eyes. Um, it does have a little mirror on it, which is quite handy when you're out and about. But I just think a good mascara of your choice, so you don't have to go for the water waterproof one but I love the spoolie on this you can really layer it it catches every single lash it's true black I think just a really good quality mascara is an essential starter kit item and this one is great so moving on to lips and um, again like what I did with my luxury starter kit I've gone for kind of one nude lip and one statement bold lip for my nude lip I've gone for Burt's Bees gloss lip crayon which again is the kind of lip product you could put on without using a mirror very, very easy to use, incredibly comfortable. It's what I'm wearing right now, so I'll even put a little bit more on so you guys can see. It's just a lovely peach shade, and it's a roll-up crayon, so great for your handbag, you've not got to sharpen it, and it's very, very moisturizing. Uh, and I think Burt's Bees is great for kind of the natural looking lip products that just have a nice tint, kind of your lips with better shade. Absolutely love that, and I think that is a great affordable option for kind of an everyday lipstick. Now when it comes to a bold lip, I think there's one brand that has for a long time now done lips really, really well and is quite overlooked. And that is Revlon and I absolutely love Cherries in the Snow. This is a color I don't think we can get in the UK anymore, but I was so excited to see it in America. It is this gorgeous, like, I can't even describe it. It's like a ready pink, but when you have really pale skin, it looks amazing. If you have dark skin, it looks amazing. It looks super cool, the tan. Um, it's a cream texture, but very, very moisturizing. And there's so many shades that Revlon do that I feel like a kind of statement, um, quite iconic shades. Like I think it's Fire on Ice or Fire on Ice. Um, Kiss Me Coral is a beautiful shade. Really cool classic shades that, you know, have almost been around since the eighties, but still work as well now. So Cherries in the Snow would be my favorite pick for a nice bold lip. And I think Revlon is a really good place to go for bold lips in general. So go for a shade that makes you feel really good, something that's a statement and that when you wear it, you feel like that kind of just dresses you up really well. So last but not least is tools. Now for tools, I have just chosen to go with one brand that I think will have everything and anything you need really with regards to tools. Um, I've gone for Real Techniques because I feel like Real Techniques is such an affordable price point. I love Soever and brands like that who do do um, face kits, eye kits, but some of those are nearer kind of the hundred pound mark. Whereas I think Real Techniques, you can get a starter kit for around 20 pounds, um, maybe like $25 here in the States. Um, I've got there, this one is the Multitask Brush. It's a really great one to have in your starter makeup kit, as well as the Expert Face Brush. I love this for cream-based products, foundation, it's great. And then some of the eye brushes, again, they come in so many different shapes and sizes. Absolutely love the shading brush. It's a really great one. And you guys always ask me about the brushes I use in my videos. And this is a mix of Zoeva and the Real Techniques Bold Metals. And the Bold Metals brushes are just beautiful. If you did want to spend a little bit more on your kind of drugstore brushes and not going to crazy brush prices, um, I really recommend those. I absolutely love, I have like six of the, I think this is the 203 brush, which is very similar to a MAC 217. Absolutely love this brush. I love the metal feel and they're slightly weighted. But any of the Real Techniques brushes, whether it's the Miracle Complexion Sponge or the brushes I've mentioned would really, you could have literally like three or four of these and you would have enough to create the perfect starter makeup bag and have all the tools you need to make lots of different makeup looks. So that's it for this video guys. I really hope that was helpful. Let me know down below what additions you would make or if there's anything you would swap in or out to change to create your own perfect starter affordable makeup bag. And don't forget to check out Full Coverage Podcast as well, which I will link somewhere around here um, as we have a drugstore edition in our next episode. So lots of new news in there for you and kind of old favorites, new favorites drugstore. Me and Lindsay will be sharing that with you. Um, I hope you guys are really well. I'd love it if you subscribe and I'll see you soon for more videos. Thanks so much guys, bye.